what can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Got time for a quick one. Tian will do the trick. Everyone listen up! This is a fucking robbery! Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you! Shut the fuck up! Put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are! And don't fucking move a muscle! If I hear so much as a peep, you'll be getting a side order of lead! We clear? While it's on the table! Keep your mouth shut and Somebody move Somebody likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about Sticking you go up first? a diner? Hand over your wallet. That is sad. Nice and easy. What'd you do before? Steal old ladies' purses? What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? You're giving me mixed signals How about signals you go here. first? How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if nice my hands are in there? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is going to get you out of this? You know who I always dies first? can't believe you've made it this far. Fuck you and your shit again? People who don't judge wallet. their competition Daddy's. don't last too nah. long on the streets. I've met people like you before. They're all dead now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. You're trying to trip me up. I've danced with Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's 6th Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. A microsecond longer. Send space to 7299 right now. The crystal... Got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Bottom to get their shit together and even try to make a difference. Excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kinda spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Was supposed to meet someone here. Name's Booker Updike. Okay. Well, is he here? Oh, I don't know. I'm just filling in for my tomb BFF. She's under the knife today. Chill place you got here. Quiet. Um, think so? Probably owe all that to 6th Street. Anyone tries to harass our guests, they keep them out good. Oh shit, you ain't with the cops, are ya? More the opposite. 
<laughs> Phew. Good. I ain't supposed to talk to cops. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, check it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. That okay? I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on, I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well-being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. You work here? Nah, just fucking taking in the sights. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? All right, all right. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician. Looking for a friend. Booker Updike. Wait a sec. That, uh, he a tall white guy? Kind of keeps to himself, yeah? Could be. Haven't seen each other in a while. What makes you say that? Well, he's been locked up in his room. Don't ever come out. Not even for coffee in the AM. But hey, customer is king, right? He wants peace and quiet. We give it to him. No questions. Right. Okay. See ya. Ugh, not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Ha ha. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Ugh, gonna puke. Smell that, right? The ventilation. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Nah, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? Like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Take a look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. You work here. Ask.
Fucking disturb. <laughs> Waiting for someone. Please just get out. Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear.
Oh, V, the beta asset's secure? Padrissimo. And I'm putting you down for 10 bonus points for solving the mystery of Booker's fate. It's clean work, V. Contract's closed, your attitude's on the way. Listen. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Huh? Wakako sent me. Is that the Okada lady? Did she tell you how this is supposed to happen? My info's I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead? Why, exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get-out-of-jail-free card. Over my dead fucking body. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Plan sounds half-baked. Honestly, don't like it. What's that supposed to mean? First up, don't execute in public. Don't need an audience. Second, they could get away. You don't get it. I spent my life savings on this. That's them! Step on it! I'm gonna blow the motherfucker to bits myself! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez! NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the girl, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right. 
Let's just all shoot holes at each other. Final dub. Fuck! We can't leave her here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! We take her with us. What? Olga, we've got a situation. Somebody just tried to drop our star. That psycho's out hiring professionals. It was only a matter of time. Because he's a fucking nutcase, Gregor, that's why. Busted an attempted what hit on my guy. Don't have much time. Yeah, one cash. Bill Jablonski. No priors. But run a deep sweep, just to be sure. Want me to come to Thanks. come with you? I owe you. No patrol car. <laughs> and stay off I the frequencies, too. Can't have this You're out of your back. fucking mind. Hey, another word from you, and I am this. calling the studio. This will make me ruin your career. This. Nobody, and I mean nobody, listen. will harm a hair on your head. I'm We're just, clear to uh, go. Boys from the precinct will hop up here. What the hell is this? What's your name? V. Josh Stevenson. But you probably knew that already. Your associate. What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell. Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take her. Out of the question. She's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give her a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. Gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right. I'll go with you. I'll move it! We're running late! Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Fuck. The hell possessed me to get in. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before. <clears throat> Frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. Still don't get why you're telling me this. I want you to understand what I am about to do. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day, and I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Try Vasquez. You could probably get him to speak if you dangle a dog treat in front of his nose. Go fuck yourself! Vasquez sees me as nothing but a liar. Scum that should have been fried in the electric chair. You're the one I want to talk to. You know, still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? Me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get what they want. I'll make sure of it. How you figure that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. 
Just till the end of the day? Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong. I'm out. Vasquez, keep an eye on no them. No one will force stay you in to the stay. car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. Zuleika? You're... late. I... found a companion. Along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? She is everything you spoke of. V. Meet Zuleika. V. Pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? It's a long, strange story. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! Please, sit down. Can I offer you anything? A drink? A glass of water. Please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on earth, and neither should ours. Not every day you run into a true believer in Night City. It was Providence that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? For all I know, there could be a higher power out there, but... Nobody's been able to prove it. No one ever will. Faith is something no one but you can prove. Zuleika and I have a... a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. I still don't get what's happening here, Zuleika. When they put Joshua away, the scream sheets devoted space to him on page 5. But when they discovered he'd found God, suddenly he was on primetime TV. What's wrong with using a platform to tell people about my faith and God's grace? Hmm? We are way past that, Joshua. Instead of being executed in prison, he agreed to let Braindown Studio Vultures record his agony as he's being crucified.
This is insanity, pure and simple. It's the one thing worse than insanity. Blasphemy. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Uh, mother is home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, now! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child, my son. <laughs> Let's go back to the car. <sighs> Just go. Uh... My ruby. I just wish I could have talked to Gloria and you know, explained everything. And somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Where are we eating? Uh, Pie Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Got a killer cheesecake at Pie Z. I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream, then? How well do you know the city? Why does it matter? I'm just curious. Happen to like it out here is all. Can't know Night City well, ever. It's always changing. Always surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm. <laughs> True that. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I wanna talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? Got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, 
Why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Ah, sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm, and one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Corpo rats. Think they can solve everything with eddies. And you proved her wrong. Just don't make her desperate. She's liable to fight back. Jesus shit ain't fooling me. You even think about making a break for it, your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. Vasquez. He blew inside and out. Might as well have been born with a badge. Must have some solid dirt on him then. And the studio majority stakeholder's a corp. Unlike you, Vasquez would clearly mind having enemies in high places. This brain dance. I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long, we can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How is that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. Infinite investment in tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. And you, got any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. They had originally opted for John. Mm, yes, that's important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. So what is it you want to convey exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Yes, why? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Didn't take you for one with a spiritual side. You being, well, you. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? I'll tell you exactly why. No, I, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Ugh, all this talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. 
All of them. But, Rachel... No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you... get lost. We'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Props. Really well played. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Your cynicism starting to wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seem to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind. Which is it, nut job or messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists. Fuck, kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Truth is, I died and rose again. Clean and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it make you? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? fucking idea what it was, and neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. Hmm? One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them. Pop them right between the eyes. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche? Possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead? Or alive till the last existing Digighost of you is shredded? Meaning like, am I gonna ascend to Digi Heaven? Descent to Digi Hell's more likely, but yeah. There is life after death. Is Silverhand already living the afterlife? Meaning I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. Me. No netherworld, no happy wonder world. Just duped digital psychics. Oh, weird as fuck today. It's just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash. <laughs> Turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. 
which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Got a bad feeling about this. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. Oh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, a uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay, starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Seems a boat. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. to do it. Right. 
Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. You know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said- I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. Shit! 
No, Did I'm serious. Did you see the Basilisk in action? We all owe you. It blasted them so into bits. you can me. count on the officers. Ah. No squirming. Always. Lie still. I need to examine. Good to know. They won't dare show their faces again. How many did we drop? Our loss. That's what Nobody's I Nobody's behind know. the bar. They could have been that I like. That Basilisk could come around sooner. Pan Am missing from camp at such a critical moment. She'll have some explaining to do. What is she Bear? to you? Lemonade? I see her. Hell, leave her alone. Are you about done? Moose has got a nasty Bear me. gas too. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pinham, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. Okay, so... You ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Definitely not that simple. Relic's also keeping me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No, The chip's data is infecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic. I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? I'm gonna die. Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. See so you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. 
we have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area, back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much hey, bigger. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Panam. Staying in California much longer? We need to work. Preferably the more lucrative kind. No better place than Night City in that regard. But the nature of biz here is such that sooner or later you'll step on some bigwig's pinky toes. So we'll see how it goes. You, Pen M, and the cowboy. Now, that sounds like a story I want to hear. Wouldn't call it a story so much as just another episode of what happens to folk traveling on the road. Gonna spill or not? Me and Pan Am were hauling cargo from San Francisco to Kansas for one of these so-called cowboys. That's what we called the owners of those huge sin meat farms. Kansas was riddled with them operations, but Pan Am never seen one. So we get there, we unload the cargo, some valves for boilers, doesn't matter. Stench in the air's unbearable. Pan Am's face is green. She's practically gagging. Then the owner struts over to us, cowboy hat in hand, about to say howdy, when Pan Am... No. Pan Am drenches his boots with that day's lunch. I thought that was it, that we were screwed. But you know what the cowboy said? No need to bow, I'll just take a handshake. No wonder Pan Am instantly knew what you meant back at the AV. Sometimes I think about staying here a while longer. But then a city dweller happens upon us and I reconsider. Talk later then, I guess.
Know why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. Ever work for a corp? You trying to offend me? Let's just say I've met a few of your kind. Quick, talk a good game, always fighting for their people. For a small fee. And? Suits, most of them. Tell me about Santo Domingo. A lot of people tried to get a foothold here. Corpos, gangs, none of them made it. But real people live here in Arroyo and Rancho Coronado. Can't pull the wool over their eyes. We are the blood and guts of this city. Why El Capitan? The people, they're grateful. They show me respect because I put them first. Wow, the true altruist. Corporal worlds at disease. Power's gotta get back in the hands of the people. And we'll do it. You'll see. How's biz? I don't care for the word bees. I call it work. Hard work. Honest work. And I can't complain.
how's life in NC? Getting any sleep? Because I'm not. Not when there's money to be made. So listen, one of my people, named Julian, was supposed to deliver me some precious data. Never made it. Getting total radio silence. Check on her, will you? And uh, don't forget the data. Specs attached. Interesting. A safe behind a painting. A little cliche. But hey, at least the Merc appreciates the arts. You could learn a thing or two. Wondering more how it ended up on the ground. Juliet must have been in a hurry. Yeah. Something twisted happened here, V. <sighs> if life's taught me one thing, it's that a safe's a good spot to hide your valuables. Got a reader, too. Must be an access shirt around. I'm starting to like this less and less. Best stay on our toes. What a mess. Reeks, too. Usual hallmarks of a merc's room stop there. Oh, shit! Someone took a nasty hit on this. Signs of a struggle? To put it mildly. Almost completely used up. Not something you'd keep in your medicine cabinet. Better look around. Impressive pharmacy. Didn't even know this stuff was still on the black market. All these pills are downers. They're what you get if you can afford better. Hell of a lot for one person here.
friends can't keep me here, they said. God, I gotta leave. Of bad luck all the time. Ted? Call me Teddy. Get in. I'll give you the brief. Fine. Teddy, what's the sitch? See that garage on the left? Belongs to Kendachi. Tip came in, they've got some special goods sitting in there. Special? For the 6th Street gang. So, what's on me to do? You get in the garage and place this tracker under the truck. Just, just watch out for surveillance cams. Piece of cake. You are making my career right here, V. The soldier of truth. You know your way around their security? Oh, I like you. You want deets? Teddy's got deets. Here's the deal. Two cams, five guards, and another three in the back. Oof. Looking a little green at the gills, but hey, I get it. It won't be easy. Just do what you can to keep that mug off camera. Got it? Sure. See what I can do. All right, Teddy. Time to get to work. Just, you know, do your ninja stuff. <laughs> and don't get caught on camera. Cameras love me, not you. I'll be in touch. Those eddies were to get us the fuck out of here! Listen.
A good day. Damned! I know you! Saw you back at the Aldecaldo camp. They call you V, right? The one and only. Oh, did someone from the family send you here? Here by pure chance. No one sent me. Why? Is this the kind of place I'm supposed to be? Carol and Cass are here to close the deal with the scavengers. We purloined some cyberware for them. And? And it's taken them near eternity. Something isn't right. Dealing with scabs never ends well. Next time, just stick to retrofitting old clunkers in the Badlands. You asked, you received. What's the problem? The problem's that you were late. By three whole fucking days! I already explained. There was a sandstorm. We... Guess what? That's none of my fucking concern! We lost a lot of ages because of you! Sorry to interrupt. How's it going? Close the deal yet? V! What are you doing here? Who is this? Oh, I thought I'd drop by. You know, make sure everyone's playing fair. Who the fuck is this? They call me V. I don't give an ass like it. Fuck what they call you! What are you trying to pull here, huh? There's some kind of scare tactic? Seymour down now. She's with us. Can you count the fucking three? One, two, three! That's how many you're supposed to be! Heap of money was also supposed to be here. And I can't see any. How about we get this over with, Roman? We were late. Our bad, granted. We'll scratch off 10%. 20. 15.
Fine, let's call it a fucking day already. I'll give the sick for the edges. You must be outside your mind, V. Why do you come here? Bumped into your man outside. Said it was taking too long, so I figured I'd take a look. Save as you're patronizing, V. We knew the risk, but... We really need this money. Like, badly. Hush up now! You can conversate all you want later. Funny. Didn't like your ugly skin plate from the get-go. Now I know why. You're the one who flushed us out in Watson. Sandra Dorset. Thought we'd forget, huh? We're done here. If I were you, I'd think real hard about your next move. You're right. I was the one who took out your chooms in Watson. Shot them like fish in a barrel. Why do you think this'll play out any different? Cause you got us surrounded. Take a look at me. A real good one. See my implants? I could slice you into ribbons before you can squeeze a trigger. I know it. You know it. Uh, give him the edges. What are you fucking deaf? I said, give him the edges! This isn't over yet, Merc. I've seen some things in my lifetime. But hearing you back there sent chills down my spine. Literally. Thanks, V. Hell, that sure was something. You whooped their asses real good. I don't abandon friends in need. Neither do we. Remember that when the time comes. Thanks for everything, V. So long now. onto their tech. Counting on you, champ. Hey, the American oh, and one boy. last thing. There's this techie, Lucius Thornen. I wouldn't mind if he got a piece of lead to the skull. You dick? Good. Specs attached. Now what else were they supposed to do? They're cops. I know, but still. Several Militech vehicles suffered damage, the Nomads have failed to open them. Reinforcements called to the attack site managed to repel the assailants and secure the transport's cargo. Unfortunately, approximately a dozen employees were killed in the assault, including veteran of the U.S. Next time you Warriors fuck something up. When was the last time I fucked anything up, huh? Seriously? How far back you want me to go?
Cranial pressure is stable, heart rate two. Preem for now. Alarm still strung tight. Punch in. When the lights start flashing, I'm jacking you out.
Fresh as ever, V. Sixers will think twice before sliding their gunk asses anywhere near my turf again. And that thing with Lucia Thoran? <laughs> Cherry on top. Contract closed. <laughs> 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 